Hey, welcome back to my playthrough of The Last Frontier, The Vesuvius Incident. I uh, just played through the first couple exploration turns, had a couple combat turns, so we'll walk through that right now. Um, all the all the die rolls have been made, so I'm just going to kind of be telling the story here. So, uh, human action phase is the first part of the turn, and we're in an explore phase, so... Um, the only time, the only spaces you can actually move through without um, doing an ambush or discovery check are shuttle locks. So these guys are going to move into here and they don't have to check for any kind of encounter in the shuttle lock. Everyone else moves up. So, and that is all we can do on the first um, turn. There's no aliens on board. Now we're in the orbit phase. So we start out on turn 15. Let's go to 14. Now we're going to deploy into the zero gravity environment. Let's see. Mo and Kraus are going to move out just at one space, and then Shanahan and Lazinski here will move out to that space. The unit opening the hatch uh, moves only at half rate, the time it takes to open that. So we'll have Kraus, uh, she opened that, can only move one space. Mo will only move one space with her. And in a zero G environment, when, during the deployment phase, you're always moving at a jog rate, which is uh, a maximum movement of two. So this is a clear corridor. So Shanahan and Lazinski move out. They can go one, two. Uh, everyone else um, staying where they are. Let's move on over to the discovery phase. So because the Marines are unaware of what's going on here um, until they encounter an alien or come, ac or come across any live or dead crew, uh, they don't know to be especially concerned. So there's going to be a, a modifier to a, a future discovery role here. Um, corridors, there's a different. There's two types of rooms, um, spaces in this game. There's corridors and there's rooms you have already discovered. And then there are rooms that you have not discovered. So corridors and rooms that you have already discovered, you always, when you move into them, you check for an ambush. If you're moving into a room that has not been discovered, say like the transport shuttle, command pod up here, uh, you check for discovery. So these guys are going to move in, and when you when you check for an ambush, so in a corridor or a room you've already been into, um, you're not going to find anything new except for maybe any aliens or crew that have moved in. So we ro we drew out of the bag. Actually, we rolled first. We got a three, which means we have to draw three blocks, three counters, and so I drew these. So normally in a, in a discovery phase you can't have both live crew and aliens in the same space. However, we're ambushing and the, the, let's see, yes, because we're, we're deploying into a space during the orbit phase. This takes like five to ten seconds. So right now we have encountered two aliens who are probably chasing this crew member down the zero-g hallway here in the main main corridor. So roll to place them, and we had one alien there at the far end next to that hatch, one alien there on the space with Shanahan and Lziski, and Pruitt, the first crew member you draw starts with a pistol there. So these guys, the Marines deployed into the corridor at the exact same time that two aliens are chasing this crew member down. And because you're deploying during an ambush, you're, you're in an ant, we're checking for ambush, there's a negative modifier for the Marines, which is exacerbated more, more because they're unaware of what's going on. So the only way to escape being ambushed, which results in an immediate attack from the aliens, any aliens in the space, is to roll a one. And got really really super lucky did that so the aliens will not attack uh, the marines this turn it's kind of a bonus attack the aliens may roll during the discovery phase over here and i want to apologize about this um plexiglass here it is really scratched up so that's not the board it's like it's just my plexiglass so discovery phase we've kind of come into a really interesting situation uh, from here on out um we won't have to suffer that uh that unaware modifier again, and we have the chance to kill two aliens and save a crew member, uh, which is really great, but we don't know how the, the attack's going to play out yet. So 
that's our first turn. So we have literally stumbled into like this crazy event happening in the corridor. We go back to the human action phase, but because there are hostiles on the board, it's now a combat turn. So every human unit can take one action. Generally, if you're in the same space as an alien or um, there's other Marines in the same space as a firing unit, pistol is your best bet to, sh to fire. Um, if you miss your target, you have to roll and potentially hit everyone else in line of sight. So the first unit to fire at this, and you have to target the alien in your space if there's an alien in your space. So Shanahan's going to fire his pistol at that alien. One shot, um, real good odds to hit. He does, checks the alien is actually downed. So had he missed, he would have had to at least, uh, Lozinski would have had to roll for um, being hit. And if it didn't hit Lozinski, it would have it would have rolled for it to hit that alien because he was shooting in that direction. If you were to use your assault rifle and he were to miss and hit Lozinski, the assault rifle is more deadly. Lozinski may, is more likely to take a wound. Furthermore, if you get a, if you hit the alien, though, and you get a kill result in the same space, that alien sprays everyone with acid. So generally it's a good idea not to use your assault rifle um, against an alien in your space. Uh, sh having shot that alien and downed it, Lozinski fires his assault. He moves, actually. Moves one space closer. And in case that alien wakes up because it's downed, I want to minimize the number of people in that space. So Lozinski moves forward one there. There's a slight negative modifier to moving and shooting, but he still has really good odds, and he double fires, which is also a negative modifier, but he downs that alien as well. Some of these guys deploy up here. These guys move further up. That is the end of our human action phase. Neither of these aliens take an action. Oh, let me break up here. I uh, Mo, I forgot this. Mo moved up two spaces. He takes a penalty to a shot because he moved, but he has the plasma gun, and that's even more deadly. So. The thought here is to get another shot on this down alien because we're going to check during the alien action phase and uh, the downed aliens have a chance to come back to life and then conduct a surprise attack. So Mo moves up here, takes a shot with plasma rifle, gets another, gets a kill result. So this guy is dead. Kraus is not going to move here or take, shoot at this alien. If she does, um, the, the pistol cannot achieve a kill result. And then she doesn't want to wound anyone else if she misses. So, alien action phase. Come up here. This alien is alive. And then we have pretty good odds to avoid a surprise attack, but the alien uh, does roll for a surprise attack. So he gets catches everyone by surprise, gets up, flashes his closet, uh, Shanahan there. Only way to avoid a hit is to roll hard one, and that's exactly what happened. So super, super lucky here, um, survived this attack, uh, one in six odds. And that is the end of the alien phase, no orbit phase, no discovery. So we're going to go back and start another combat turn. Shanahan fires his pistol, hits again, really good odds. Um, this is another down result. So two down effort after an alien has been downed sprung back and is hit again for another down result. The alien is killed, but with no acid spray. So he's gone. Really, really fortunate uh, turn of events here. And there's nothing much else to do because on our there's no aliens. There's no orbit phase in combat turns. Combat turns are like five seconds. So nothing to discover since we're in the same spot and I'm not... You can deploy into a new space during a, uh, a combat phase. There's big penalties to doing so. Um, we'll talk about that later on. But anyway, we're not doing that. We're going to start the, the explore, exploration phase of the next turn. So let's see. Team 2 is going to get together. They're going to advance here. T2 
team one. These are my critical guys. Uh, hang on, let me get that right. These guys are all going to move into a corridor. So, do, 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 do. These are my critical guys. They're going to hold. Um, watch the, the exits and entryways. And make sure nothing uh, untoward happens. Team three comes in here, and they're going to deploy into the command pod. And that is the extent of the human action phase. There's no aliens, so we'll skip through that. Orbit phase. Move our timer down to 13. Team 2 deploys. To the lift car corridor. Team 3 deploys into the command pod. And we're just going to keep them all in that space there. Um, these guys are saying put. There's no action for them during the orbit phase. Discovery rolled here in the corridor. Did not get an event or any encounters. We got one encounter in the command pod. Drew an event. It is dark. Um, not a big deal right now. It's a negative event if you also happen to encounter some aliens in there. So that's it for the discovery phase. Uh, our first couple turns here. Um, really, really fortunate. Sorry about that glare. Um, really, really fortunate. Took out two aliens, uh, survived an attack unscathed, and came across a crew member. So a lot of bonus there. That crew member is going to accompany us through the ship. Uh, the Marines don't get to leave that person alone, and they're not going to deposit them in the Marine assault shuttle. So that person is going to come with us, hopefully survive, but they'll also be able to they'll free up a Marine because they will help be able to help uh, one Marine hold a corridor. They'll free up someone else to make. Uh, entry onto uh, rooms. Anyway, that's it.